welcome back to the channel my name is gracious and i hope you guys are doing well yes i promise you that in the, our next video which is this video i'll be taking you through the steps which i took and made 500 cities from my forex trading yes i do part-time forex trader i'm not a full-time forex trader i will be taking you through the steps what i did what i didn't do like the whole thing how i took the trade the strategy i used and then to keep it very simple remember one thing if you are a beginner forex trader or you are getting into forex trading trade what you see not what you think trade what you see on the chart not what you, you imagine no way trade what you see yeah so let's get straight into the chat without much i do making 500 cities in three days or in one week on the forex market let's get into the chat let's go okay um we have um we have gp okay the trades i took i let me i wrote in that, them down in my journal so i took aud usd gbp chf and then uh usd chf so let's start with the aud uh let's start with the aud usd uh, right here yes here is it here is the setup uh of the trade very very simple setup i love the four hour yeah i love the four hour a lot because that's what i've been taught and trained with by my mentor which is kojo forex yeah i've been taught a lot on the four hour so i love the four hour so much it helped me get more confirmation and then get more outlook into the market into the future yeah so here is it uh let me zoom it out and let's have a look as you can see this market is in a downtrend uh, it's in a downtrend on the bigger time if you go to the high time frame, you see that it's in a downtrend here yeah. where i drew my uh where this trend that is coming from is in a downtrend so let's go back to where we were on the four hour this is a very very simple support and resistance uh tra trading strategy and then uh, yeah we went into it so this is how it panned out i was away so price came all the way through came all the way through i was patiently waiting for price to come here because price came here and then rejected it's it's once came here rejected went to the upside from uh this double top came down rejected and then was not able to come down there so when price rallied up uh, price was able to rally up to all this level and then started coming down i was patiently waiting i missed the opportunity to to enter from here and that's a sniper entry uh -huh. i missed the opportunity to enter from here because i wasn't by the chart i do part-time trading so yeah it happens sometimes i was just waiting and the price broke this level right here broke this level at uh, uh 0 0.66561 price broke here and there's something funny which price does any level price bro breaks it will surely come to tap there before coming moving down let's say it's in a, it's in an uptrend let's say okay this is in a downtrend right so when price breaks here this level i mean uh let's i mean i mean here this place when price breaks here it will surely come back to test it uh, let's say something like this it will surely come back to test it before coming down like this aha uh -huh. i hope you guys understood by the illustrations uh i'm doing on the chat so this will basically form something we call head and shoulder if price comes here and then come down because this is the first head and this is the first uh, this is the first shoulder sorry and this will be the second shoulder if it formed and this will be the head so okay let's let's just go back let's go back um and then focus on why and how i took this trade yes here is it so price came down all to this place remember we have a previous low here we have a previous low here which i'm patiently waiting for this is a support right here which i'm patiently waiting for price to come there and then move to the upside and then here is it and there's a, there are a series of confirmations I look out for uh, before entering market scenarios like that. When price came here, I was patiently waiting. Let's go to the one hour for you to see a, a detail of this, what I'm just trying to teach you guys. Uh -huh. Here is it. Here is it. Price came here, went up, came down, tapped into it, and then with the bullish presence here, and I was like, no way, I have to enter. Look at the candles. You read the candles. Let's go back to the four hour. Uh, that's where a lot of things go on can you see this this bullish candles were very very solid very solid bullish engulfing right there one two right there so i entered on the second candle that's what i do i i enter the markets when i have two or more confluences uh -huh. the more the confluence the more your 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 assurance that this market will move into the direction you're anticipating yeah so that's it price went here yeah. i left the I entered the market and then uh, put my first 
TP here, my first TP was here. There's something I like to do. My stop loss will be the same as my TP, uh, my first TP. Yes. So this is 31 pips. I'm risking 31 pips on this. And then the, my first TP is also 31 pips. And then my, my second TP is right here on uh, this breakout uh, right here. This price break zone right here. So that's it. Uh, this tool is the, um, the risk to reward tool. I just put it there and then, bro. The result I'll show you guys. Here's it in the corner right here. AUD USD. I I am not still holding that trade. Yeah, I'm not still holding it because I took all my profits right here on the first TP where this line is. Yes, let's go. I hope you understand it. And then uh, let's move on straight to um um that's GBPCHF. That's that that pen made me the biggest money on this trade. Uh huh. Let's go into it. Let's go into it. Let me just, just a minute. Okay. Um, so here's it, as you can see on the chart. I made um, AUD USD. That's, I took some partial profits because I used a lot size of 0 0.5. So I took the first three, that's 53 cities, 0.21 pesos, and then uh, 55. Then the last one, which TP hit, was. Uh, Five that's zero point zero one. That that's five point four nine Ghana cities. Uh -huh. I split it. That's trade management right there. So moving on to the second pair, that's um GBP CHF. GBP CHF, which I also took with similar scenario, it's very similar and simple scenario. As you when you look closely to the chart to the left side, price broke here. And then I put my line there because I know price to come and retest there and create something funny, very, very, very funny at that place. Very, very simple. And then here is it. Just a minute. Let me just check. Okay. We are recording. We are back on the chat. Um, price will come there and create something very, very beautiful there. So I was patiently waiting. I missed this opportunity right here to go for a buy. So I was just waiting for price to reach this zone which I have um, demarcated because of the previous happening here. Price broke here. So it will surely come and retest before going every, anywhere it wants to go. So here is it. Price came right there. And then look at what happened. Let's go to the one hour and you have a look. Let's go to the two hour. Uh -huh. Did you see that? As you can see, I did this. That's my anticipation that when price reaches there, it will come retest the zone before going. So price broke out through that through this level, as you can see right there, price broke out through the level. Retest as I anticipated and started moving up. So I was like, come on, let me look for my confirmation right there. So I entered uh, somewhere around um, this place when price dropped this huge candle. But when I was watching, I looked at the, uh, the second candle forming right there, the bullish candle form right there. And that's almost halfway through. It's a very solid candle for confirmation for me. So I just entered and then waited patiently psychology is at play here you have to wait trading is a lot of waiting and patience so i waited very patiently entered this trade i risk about uh, that's uh, 22 pips on this one gbpchf 22 pips for uh, um, a reward of 122 but it's not up to the second tp my first tp was somewhere around here which uh, i took and then bro i relaxed for my uh, trade to play out and it's still playing out i'm out of it I'm out of this trade, but I just left everything there for you guys to, to see. It's still playing out anyway. So that's it for uh, GBPCHF also. Very, very simple strategy. Break and retest. You break it, retest it to go back to the upside. Break, retest. But it should not be like that all the time. Uh -huh, sometimes it may. But most of the time, that's, what, that's how market behaves when uh, it comes to things like this. Then the last pair I traded, that's uh, okay. For the GBPCHF, I made, that's how much, um, let's see, that's how much. I also took partial profit, so the first one, I took 0 0.1 of it, that's 12 cities, 98 pesos, and I left the 0 0.04 to run, and it made me 257 cities, 76 pesos, uh -huh, because my first TP was hit, so that's it. And then the last pair which I entered, I entered all the uh, uh, trades on the same day, same hour, same time. So USDCHF, here is it, here is it. Oh, goodness, I love this. Same thing, can you see? Similar similar thing on, on this pair as GBPCHF. 
This is USDCHF. Similar thing. Very similar thing. Market came here, broke it, retest, came back all the way. So while the market was up on the up, uh, on the uptrend, okay, let me just use the mouse. While the market came here, broke it, came all the way down here, and there was a change in direction. Market change direction because of this double bottom right here and was moving upwards. I was like, no, let me just wait and look through my chart and work this thing out. And behold, the things I was taught in the Kojo Forest Academy really helped me. And this zone is a significant area which uh, I marked out because this 8700, that's a very, that's a whole number in a significant area as well. So I just waited patiently and then the uh, price came back there tap into it and then retest this level as well. Can you see the level right here? Uh, I think I should demarcate it for you guys. Here, one. And then we have uh, two right here. Can you see that? Can you see that? We have two levels right there. Price broke here, retest came back. That's a very significant area, significant area, and a significant area. Let's focus on this one, which uh, I took the trading. I'm on a two hour time frame. Let's go to the four hour. That's where the miracles happen. Yeah. Similar thing. Very, very simple. Break and retest. Price came here and broke this significant level. And I was patiently waiting. Price retested it. And with the candle right here. Look at, look at, just look at this. And there was a news, I think. Uh huh. Because I wasn't by the chat when my TP was hit. There was a news. Price came here and started uh, and brought about this bearish engulfing right here same tap into my zone and then started with a bearish engulfing i was like no way i don't have to wait for this i entered and then patiently waited and bro my tp was smashed and that's it on the screen 501 uh, cities right there in a week it took three days i i held that position for three days and then uh yes uh let's move straight to gbp uh no usd chf this is, the, this is the trade I took on USDCHF right here. Uh, yes, here is it. Let's go to it and what I did for USDCHF. Yeah, very, very simple break and retest. Kept, keep everything very simple. That's what one, one thing I've been taught. You keep it very simple, not, nothing complicated. So here is it. You, as you can see, there are some uh, ash markings on my chart. One, two, three. Uh -huh. Those are levels of importance to me. Price broke, price came back, broke here. And then I marked it out because it's a significant level for me. Price was uh, ranging from here, came back, broke this place. And then retest came back. That's a significant level for me. So I marked it out. So I was waiting patiently when price changed direction with this uh, double bottom right here and was moving to the upside. I was patiently waiting. Price broke here, couldn't retest it and flew all the way up. Then price came to this significant level of mine, which I... I I marked out, price broke it, and I was very, very sure that price would come retest its correction phase before going to the upside because of the level here. There's a lot of action there, liquidity there. Price came back, retest it, and my confirmation, let's go to the uh, one hour for you to get a clear picture. Can you look at this? Have a look at this. Guys, can you see this? Here is it. Price came back into the zone which i marked with this here is it here's the zone and then this is my anticipation this huge uh arrow you are seeing is my anticipation that's what i usually do so that i'll not forget what i've done on the chart so price came back to that place and then started going up with the confirmation i'm having here here is it i look for a lot of things before entering the trade i don't just wake up with the confirmation i'm having here with my candlestick confirmation i just uh Look for my confirmation and then entered. It's on my zone. Look for my candlestick confirmations. Enter the trade. Then wait patiently for the market to play out. So, God willing, the market played out in my favor as I anticipated. And bro, it was also a hit on a uh, USD CHF, which uh, is on the uh, this thing is on the screen right now. That's 117 scan, 17 Ghana cities. That's uh, 35 pips. 35 pips right there. On it and i i just i just love it within three days i held the trade for three good days and it all played out peacefully 
this takes a lot of mental prowess psychologically you have to be patient with the market you don't have to rush it one thing i want to let you guys know that trading is not a get rich quick scheme no way it took me years will i say yes yeah because i started this thing after COVID, that's 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, this 2024. Yes, I'm in my fourth year. Uh, I took it seriously in 2021, and I decided to go to the Kujifuras Academy in 2022, October. Yes, my certificate right here. I was taught a lot, and the Kujifuras Go strategy, I was taught a lot. Bro, I have been taught a lot. And this is how I made my passive income yeah to support myself because ghana bro living in ghana you can't be doing one work unless yeah charlie i'm a graphic person i'm a graphic designer by profession i do videography weddings and whole lot yeah but i still need a lot of money to to take care of myself and my family and everything so i'm a man so i have to strive daily for 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 good things yeah for good things so that's it um I hope you you learn a lot from it. You keep it very simple, simple break and retest strategy, which I used there, and it was it was mind blowing. And I hope uh, you learn a lot from this video. And then uh, I hope you guys will also embark on the journey of trading as we go on. There's videos I'll be doing weekly lookouts, what will happen in the week, like weekly breakdowns, aha, uh -huh, so that we all move together and grow together and make money online together as the days go and the years also goes by and we grow and grow financially we are all heading to financial freedom the time freedom bro as men we have to explore our dreams and you can't do that without money yeah money you not having money limits you you can't explore no come on my mentor is in the uh, uae dubai right now living there free like yo come on that lifestyle is good let's trade for us let's make money guys CD Forex right here. See you guys in the next episode. Peace. Shalom.